All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Fake Card Friday. So this is another fake card sent to me by my friend uh, Chin Link One, part of Team Ninjas. I will play both Chin Link One's link and Team Ninjas link in the description. Go ahead and go to their channel, check out their content, and like and enjoy. So uh, my friend Chin Link One, he loves making fake cards like all the time. He's like, "Hey, look at this fake card. Hey, look at this fake card." It's like, like I, I, Fake Card Friday can't literally be just. Freaking chain link one fake card Fridays, or every single week I do one of his fake cards. But, you know, every once in a while, I don't mind going ahead and looking at one of his fake cards for him and uh, giving my opinion and you know sharing it with you guys. So today we are looking at Harpoon Warrior. So Harpoon Warrior is a level eight machine synchro effect monster, win twenty seven hundred attack, twenty one hundred defense. So stats are not bad. You know that's totally fine for a level eight synchro. But it is not generic. It is one synchro tuner monster plus one or more non tuner synchro monsters. So, uh, you know, it's not like any tuner. It has to be a synchro tuner. But is it worth the effort? I definitely think so. Let's look at this effect. So, when this card is synchro seven, you could target one card in the field, destroy it. Then you could draw one card. So, I should you not, that's a pretty good effect. You know, uh, just says one card in the field, period. So, you can go ahead and target one of your opponent's cards, destroy that, and then you get to draw a card. So, uh, usually, when you synchro summon, it's a neg, you know. Uh, let's say bare minimum. Let's go ahead and say that you have a synchron tuner and one non tuner monster. So let's say you use two cards to make one. So that's a neg, right? But then you get to go ahead and not only pop your opponent's card, which means that your opponent goes next, so now you're even, but then you get to draw a card. But uh, generally, this card is probably going to be made with more than one non tuner monster. So essentially, you kind of even out. You know, your synchron monster and your two non tuners, because this is a big one. This is a sync eight. So that's a pretty big one for uh, synchron monsters. So you're probably using three cards to summon this one monster. So you're down by two. But then you go ahead and target a card in your, on the field, i.e., your opponent's card, destroy that, which means that now you're down by one. And then you draw a card, which means you zero out, which is a very powerful uh, ability. You know, you're, like I said, generally you neg on summons, but this, you know, that, that's a very good effect. Pop and draw, like, wow. All right, but he is not done. He's not done. So let's look at another effect. So. Once per turn, you can pay 1,000 life points to target one monster your opponent controls and take control of it till the end phase. That's busted. That's bust. That can lead to some serious OTKs in games. So, uh, of course, it doesn't say you know you know put in defense mode or you you know you can't attack with it. No, no, no. Go ahead, pay a thousand. Take your opponent's monster, slap him in the face with it, slap him in the face with him. Like, this can lead to some serious SDKs. This can lead to some serious games. This card is really fucking good. Like, holy shit. Like, this, it, 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 this, if this card is real, this would totally inspire people to play some Synchron decks if they weren't playing them already because, wow, like, holy crap. This is a really good card, man. This is a really good card, but you're like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give some synchro to that. And the funny thing is, I think he's being a little bit biased because I do remember he used to play, uh, you know, a synchro deck. He used to play synchro deck. Uh, I, so I'm, I, you know, I'm going to be surprised if he started making some Infernoid cards because he does play Infernoid. But, uh, you know, a little bit biased here, but this is a really fucking good card. You know, it is like... If it, if it was generic, it'd be busted, but, you know, with uh, when you have to play into a deck that runs Synchrons, and now that people run Synchrons, just like, mm, but that the first effect, power. The second effect, power. So, ooh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, actually, you know what, before we, uh, before I this, I'm not going to tweak this and say that you can only use the effect of Harpoon Warrior once per turn, because if you summon multiple Harpoon Warriors, and like I said, this card, the second effect doesn't have to be summoned properly, you can literally crush someone. Like, you summon one Harpoon Warrior, they get rid of it. Then you summon another Harpoon Warrior, activate Call of the Haunted, you know, had two Harpoon Warriors, One it says once per turn you can pay a thousand target, it doesn't say you can only use the effect of Harpoon Warrior once per turn, so you can pay two thousand to take two monsters. That's, that's power, that's power. That's crazy, so yeah, but... Just like, ugh, just taking, I, I hate, I hate getting my monsters taken, you know, even if it's still the end phase, still like, mm, mm. you know, if you take an opponent's level 8 monster, go ahead and XC this with a foul grant, into a foul grant, with this and that monster, and they don't get the shit back during the phase, like, oh my god, ah. anyway, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below, so I hope that you go, you guys, you guys, I sound like a Jewish mother, you guys, you guys, <laughs> enjoy this episode of Fake Card Friday. So uh, I will be back on Monday with card review, and uh, yeah, so I will enjoy my weekend off, and I will see you guys next week. All right, people, thanks for watching.